Well, good morning from Hanya in Crete. I could feel rain, Mel. There's a big black cloud coming over. Well, there's the ship behind me. I think we're going to stay here until the rain and the wind stops. <laughs> Welcome to Crete. So we made it into the centre of Hania after a 20 minute transfer ride. Things don't seem the same in the rain, do they? Hot, hot <laughs> countries. <laughs> this is a summer resort normally. Uh, we've just had a really heavy rain shower, as you probably saw. And it's not very warm. It's about 14 degrees, I saw the temperature on the coach. Be like that. So now it's looking more old town, isn't it? I think we're getting to the old town of Hanya now. And the rain is stopping. Fingers crossed. Shall we take one of these side roads and see where we end up? Sometimes it's the best way, isn't it? Just to wander around when you've got nothing to do. Yeah. Some of these old buildings. I thought my house was in a bad way. The wind's picked up, but the sun has come out. And now we're coming up to the old Venetian port. Of Hanya. What should we do now then? Go for coffee. Go for coffee? Yeah, I'm thirsty now. Okay. Oh, I was saying all the mm -hmm. cafes, most of them are closed still, aren't they? Because it's the 2nd of March, probably in the summer. Right, yeah. They'll be packed out with uh, yeah, yeah. chairs outside and people. Nice here, isn't it? It's lovely. One lonely Greek fisherman. He's been there for 20 years. He hasn't caught anything ever. He comes every day to fish. I think half the ship's in this uh, cafe at the moment. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> so I'm going to go for a double Greek coffee. Mel's going to go for a juice. Yeah. Is, that, is that coffee powder? I like that chocolate powder. Okay. No, it's uh, Greek coffee. That's the quiet taste. Actually, it's not as strong as it looks. It's quite, quite grit, you know, you can, quite gritty. It's quite gritty. Yeah. Well, we're back on board after a quick excursion to Hania on Crete. And we're back in the main piazza area on board the Sun Princess and I don't know if you can see behind me they're rehearsing one of the shows so Mel's back with me see that? Mm. <laughs> I've put our names down next <laughs> <laughs> well, for the acrobatics? Yes. Yeah. Okay. We're going to need a bigger boat. So we've gone to the buffet. It doesn't look too bad. Lunchtime, I've gone for chicken, parmesan, 
like um, pasta, pesto, and a little salad. And Mel's gone for virtually the same. Lasagna. Lasagna is very good. Good lasagna, isn't it? Not a sloppy lasagna. I hate sloppy. So Marcus was asking my opinion of the buffet, the lunch buffet. I would say the Italian food's really good. Um, I thought the lasagna was like restaurant quality, actually, to be honest. The only thing I found in the buffet, the hot food, could be a little bit hotter. So I like it piped hot. I like it piped hot, yes. Um, obviously, if you get there the time they take the food at the oven, you know, it's going to be piping hot. But lasagna was really good. The pesto was very good as well. Do you think so, Marcus? Yep. And the salad. Yeah, I, I thought it was really good for a buffet. So, thumbs up to the buffet so far. The wind's picked up a lot, so I wonder it may be a rocky night tonight if it's like this. But well, on the Lido deck, I can see the shipbuilder's plaque. Built 2024. So this is the view from the front of the ship and the sea view bar. So what I think I'll do now is go back to the room, meet Mel, and then we'll come out later this evening. It's tiring doing nothing all day. <laughs> this cruising lark is hard work. And I'm very shortly singling up the lines and getting underway towards our next port, Kusadasi. Pilots on board, staff cabin driving this afternoon as we head out. And once we let go, the final lines already pointed in the right direction, thrusting off the berth. If you're on the open decks, just be advised we are going to sound the ship's whistle on departure to thank the people here for their hospitality. So I don't know how that works, yeah. but I'm not complaining. I'm going to have the caprese salad to start. And then the rigatoni. Mel said she's going to have the duck breast. And, and the flounder. I'm not sure if I've ever had flounder. It's a bit like solar thing. But she also <laughs> changes her mind just before we normally order, so that's on the cards for now. So there's the caprosi. Very nice. Mel's salad. That. Whack, whack. The flounder. What's it like? Very light. Light, okay. But it looks nice. It looks Very like, fish. yeah, it looks like there's a... Um, I don't know, like a little batter on it, isn't it? And I've gone for a slab of pasta. It looks so nice, I want to try it, but it's okay. Yeah, you can help yourself. So it's dessert time. Mel's going to go for the princess love boat. And I think I'll go for the traditional New York cheesecake. There's my New York cheesecake. Hello, well, good morning. Yesterday was our brief visit to Crete. Not too bad considering it was a change of port. But this morning we're in Turkey and the sun is out. As you can see, Mel's not with me today because she's already all ruined out because I'm going to go for a trip on my own and take you with me to Ephesus. And if you didn't know, 
Ephesus was home to one of the ancient seven wonders of the world, the Temple of Artemis, which is no longer there, it's all ruined. But there is the famous Library of Celsus. So let's go. <laughs> So this is the Library of Celsus. One thing there's not enough of photographs in the world. <laughs> photographs of people doing stupid things in front of monuments. God, I'm a grumpy beggar today. <laughs> no, it's really impressive. So next to the library is this big space, which was the commercial market. It was dates from the third century BC, but what we see today was expanded by Emperor Augustus around the first century AD. I sound like I know all this information, but I've just read the information board. That's the teacher in me. Just be one page ahead and have the answer book. Well, that was a quick look around Ephesus. And this old road used to stretch down to the harbour, which is now all filled in. And the sea is a few miles that way. The guide was telling me, apparently, Mark Antony and Cleopatra walked down this road. Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. So that's meant to be the remaining pillar from the Temple of Artemis. One of the seven wonders of the ancient world. So after Ephesus, we went here. We had some lunch, which was nice. But then they tried to sell some carpets, and the one they showed me was twenty-two and a half thousand dollars. So I think I'll pass. For that price, I wanted to fly. So that was our tour with Smart Turkey Tours from Kush Darcy. Uh, it was really good, much cheaper than the organised tour. Ephesus is amazing, you can't miss it. Then went for lunch at the carpet maker place, then the ceramic place. Obviously they tried to sell you stuff, but they weren't too pushy, it wasn't too bad. 
but now I'm back at the port. I've got about half an hour, 45 minutes. So I have to have an FS beer before I get back on. So I'll go back on to meet Mel. Good evening. We're back in the cabin and we're about to go out for dinner. Bonsoir. How was your afternoon? You didn't come to see the ruins with me. Ephesus. No, I had, a, I had a good time without Marcus. I had a wander around. I very much doubt that. I had a wander around Kusadasi. How mm. do you say it? Kusadasi. Kusadasi. Anyway, I had a wander around, bought some Turkish delights. Mm. What, did I, what else did I do? Fall asleep. I had I remember they had nice fresh orange juice for like less than a couple of pounds and just had a little wander around, went anyway, to a cafe. We were back and then we went to the sail away upstairs. Mm -hmm. Heard the horn. Mm -mm. And then a couple of drinks. And tonight we're off out. We don't know where. We're not gonna film tonight, we're gonna relax tonight. But we'll take the camera and if anything interesting turns up, we'll insert it round here. So we ended up in Alfredo's. We were going to go to the main dining room, but it didn't look that nice tonight. It was Italian, but nothing. It's a bit meaty tonight. Yeah, a bit meaty. I'm, I'm the fussy one. So we went to the pizza place, which is a cover charge for three courses of $14.99 per person. Apparently, it used to be included, didn't it? I think so. And, and if you're on the premier package, I think you yeah. get two of them included. Nice. Casual restaurants, and this is one of them casual. So we're going to give it a go. Alfredo. Diavola, that's with salamis, and Mel's got the cow's only. Look at that. Mmm, ham, mushroom. It's like a big Italian pasty. Yeah. Dessert time. So, tomorrow we're going to Greece. We've been to going back to Greece, I mean, we've been to Crete already. We're docking in Athens, but we're not sure what we're going to do. The obvious one is the Acropolis, isn't it? Look around the Parthenon. But it may be busy tomorrow. And we feel a bit like we need to relax and yes, take in the ship we a may, bit, maybe. It's easy to come back to Greece and we've been eyeing, in the UK. and we've been eyeing up another cruise with Celestial just around the Greek islands. The Greek Greece, island Greek specialists. And yeah, and you're watching who are you watching? Um, oh, Andy and Kirsty. Yeah, and they've inspired us to, to come back. So yes. we think we'll be coming back to Greece very shortly. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to do the tourist. We may just relax, go around Athens. We don't know. We'll see how we feel in the morning. We'll come back early and enjoy Lots the of ship. Really, enjoy the ship because yeah. it is a holiday after all. <laughs> so that's all for today. Unless, like I said, something interesting comes up. And it, one thing, tonight though, because it's a new ship, there's not many things on. Well, I didn't think so. I think there could be a bit more. We mentioned on, to before be the main theatre, there's nothing on in the main theatre or the dome. So it's only the small 
like um, in the, the Princess Live. piazza or yeah. the bars. Yeah, the Princess Live that also, mm. it's not that big. And enough. they have small shows on, like a guitarist. Tonight there's a, there's a, a violinist. Yeah, it's so one bloke with a violin, which is great on a cruise ship in a bar, but not as the only entertainment. Yeah, so we're a little bit disappointed some point action tonight. I know we're very lucky to be on you, but <clears throat> that's the main downside, I think, of this yeah, cruise. Yeah, if you're lucky. That... Obviously, when you come on... Yes. It'll be big all shows. singing, all dancing. Yeah, we'll be all singing and dancing. I'm sure it'll be perfect. It's good. I'm sure it'll be yeah, perfect. Yeah, I think in three, in three months' time, it's going to be amazing, yeah. honestly. But tonight, not 100% sure what we're going to do, but yeah. we'll see. Like the only thing to do is eat and drink. Well, I know. <laughs> not too bad. Anyway. First world problems. We'll see you in Greece. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.